Today I'm going to show you how you can use just two sliders to create a very realistic foggy effect in Photoshop in no time. Hi, welcome to PS Desire Photoshop and Photography Tutorials. You can follow along with any image or I will provide a download link for the image which I am using for this tutorial and if your image even has the slightest clue of fog this technique will work great. First of all with the background layer selected or the image layer selected press ctrl or command plus j to make a copy. Let's double click on the layer name and let's name it fog and with this layer selected we are going to apply camera raw and before applying camera raw we simply convert that into smart object so with the fog layer selected let's go to filter and then convert for smart filters and hit ok alright so once this has been converted into smart object as you can tell by the logo right here Let's go to filter and then camera raw filter. In Adobe camera raw there is this slider which is made to remove haze and that's probably why we call it dehaze. So let's scroll down in the basic panel right there. Just scroll down and you will find dehaze. If moving to the right removes the fog and if it moves to the left it adds fog or the haze. Let's just take it to the left. And as you do that, have a look, the fog keeps on increasing. Now I'm going to go a little over the board to show you the extreme foggy effect. Of course, if you want, you can down it a little bit. So let's go ahead and take it all the way to the left. Now the second slider, which is very important here to complement the effect is the contrast slider. Let's just scroll up and you will find the contrast. Take it to the right hand side. I'm going to take it about at about 80% and hit OK. And you are pretty much done. Now you can go ahead and mask it out. Do whatever you want. So what I'm going to do is simply create a mask by clicking on the mask button. Now when it comes to the haze or fog, do keep in mind the closer the things are, the cleaner it's going to be. And the further things are going to be foggy. So with the mask selected click on the gradient tool right there and we are going to make a gradient from black to white. Just make sure the gradient black to white is selected and hit OK. And then we are going to make a gradient from here and go from there. See the closest land is clearer and as it's getting further it's becoming more and more foggy and that's how fog works. Now to show off the clouds let's take the fog away a little from the top of the image. So with the mask still selected and this time black to white will not work. You will have to use foreground to transparent. So make sure that the foreground color is black by pressing X to toggle between the foreground and background and then click on the gradient and this time choose foreground to transparent and hit OK. And we are going to take it from the top. That's better and there you have it. Now if you want less fog you can always go ahead and decrease the opacity from here. If you want more fog you can just double click on the camera or filter and just take the values to the higher or extreme. If the values are already higher I'm going to show you what to do. So here the camera raw filter the DH is already extreme values. The contrast is kind of also in very extreme. Hit OK. Just duplicate the smart filter. So hold the alt key or option key. Click and drag the camera filter and drop it just above, above it. Any fog will be doubled. That's how you duplicate the filter. And now you can of course decrease the opacity accordingly as you wish. But I'm going to keep it as it is and it was and then keep the opacity to 100%. That was my liking and that's how you simply add fog to your photos. 
I hope this tutorial made sense to you and if it did do make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe just ring the bell so that you don't miss any other future tips tricks or tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys at my next tutorial till then stay tuned and take care.